Hey there, game makers. Are you ready to join me on the journey to create our very own Steam game? Well, we are not here just yet, but every great journey starts with a small step. And today that small step is creating a simple air hockey game. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to teach us some valuable game making skills. So let's get started. Here is a quick rundown of the steps we'll be taking to create our hockey game. Setting up a new 2D project in Unity, importing 3D models into Unity and scaling them appropriately. Setting up physics by adding colliders to objects, including a separate collider to the table, bounds and goals. And adding rigid body to park and puddles. Making puddle move by adding a script that utilized vertical and horizontal input, as well as speed value. adding a game bounce by creating empties and adding box colliders to them. Adding bounciness to the game by creating a physic material with zero friction and one bounciness and applying it to the bounce and the puck. Implementing scoring by using events to register when the player scores using the X axis of the pack to determine which player scores and resetting the game by resetting the pack's position and velocity. Adding player 2 by duplicating the paddle and creating different controls for each player in the input menu. Creating an interface by adding a canvas and text to display the player score.
Restarting the game by creating a script that counts the player's score and disables the pack when one player reaches 3 points and reloading the scene after a short timer. Now, I know you might be thinking, Air Hockey, that's a nor not very exciting game, but hear me out. Creating a game like this is all about learning the fundamentals of game making. We'll be using Unity to set up a new 2D project, importing 3D models and implementing the basic physics and the gameplay mechanics. These skills are essential for creating any kind of game, no matter how complex or simple. Plus, who knows, maybe our hockey game will turn out to be a hit. Now, I want to make sure you stick around until the end of this video. Why? Because at the end, I'm going to ask you a question and I want to hear your answer in the comments below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification, because we are going to be creating a lot of more games on our way to our Steam game and I want you to be a part of it. And here you have it folks, our simple air hockey game is complete and we will learn some variable game making skills along the way. Remember, every great journey starts with a small step, and today we took that step together. I hope you have fun creating this game with me, and I can't wait to see what kind of games we will create together in the future. So make sure to stick around and be a part of our game making journey. And don't forget to answer my question in the comments below. What kind of game would you like to see us create next? By the way, if you want to create your own air hockey, I leave a link to game materials in the description of this video. And for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.